I was drawn to elephants at Makalali because I was actually scared of elephants. I came from another reserve where I had had a few negative or, or less than friendly experiences. And when I came here, I saw that the elephants were so completely different and the interactions were a lot more gentle and um, welcoming and it just drew me in and I started getting fascinated by how all the different role players in the herd worked and how the relationships between the calves and the mothers um, happened and I started getting to know the elephants and as I spent more time with them. Oh, so awesome when they come into the open, it's really, really nice. Yeah. So this is Holy Ears group and you can just see where the natural food. Hello, hello. hello girls. Hello. There's Holy Ear. Oh, she's broken a huge chunk of her oh. tusk off. Wow. She's standing in the road talking to them. There's number two. That's Tony. She's the second in charge, number two. Hello, big girl. So, where we are at the moment, particularly in South Africa, is that elephants have been pushed into smaller fragments of their former home ranges and um, coupled to that we put fences around them and so they're limited in terms of migration patterns etc. So we've created a whole bunch of tiny little populations in this former range and what we see happening within these small populations is that we have these very high um, growth rates and so what happens is that the resources potentially um, dry up in the long term and so the land is no longer able to sustain the elephants. So in terms of management and looking forward, um, it is necessary to, to manage the population and its growth in some way to forestall this from happening. Um, because clearly you want to protect biodiversity, you want to protect the elephants, you want to protect the, the system, the protected area, and um, without this management intervention, you know, you could, you could end up with some problems. So traditional means of population control specifically for elephants have included translocation and culling. Now translocation is the process whereby groups of elephants, um, family groups of elephants are actually physically moved to a new location where they are rehomed um, and also individual bulls also moved and um, this has proved very very positive and very um, workable um, and in fact it's how most of this, the small private game reserves in South Africa actually got their elephant populations. Mm -hmm. Excess elephants were moved out of Kruger, translocated out of Kruger um, to populate these new reserves. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately though what's happened is there are very few areas left to move elephants to and so the and the very areas to which they were moved are now sitting with their own overpopulation problems. Mm. And so the scope for translocation has um, shrunk and it's, it's, it's really not a workable solution in, anymore. I think there's still scope for um, moving individuals in terms of uh, preserving genetic diversity in populations, but in terms of establishing new populations, it's very limited. Mm. Um, culling was another method that was used, um, predominantly within our national parks and this is the process whereby uh, entire family groups were actually destroyed initially by lethal injection and later by, um, by, by gunshot um, and what this does is it, it actually destroys the entire family unit and previously they actually used to cull a selective percentage of the population and the little orphans that were left were actually then taken and translocated to form uh, new populations. But what we've learned over the years is that this has resulted in very severe behavioural consequences as these orphan elephants grow up in new situations without adult intervention, without adult supervision, and they become what we call almost like juvenile delinquents. And they manifest very negative behaviour and in, in the case of um, young bulls, it's often displayed through aggression towards other species, specifically rhinos. Um, and the only way to which you can curb that behaviour is actually introducing big bulls, adult bulls, into those populations to teach the younger bulls the manners and the way of the elephants, mm -hmm. and those behaviours stop. Um, clearly, once 
we had found out about these repercussions of moving um, awful elephants, the procedure has largely been stopped. And so now when units are culled, the entire unit is culled. Um, there has been a recent um, debate, a very public debate within South Africa with regards to culling and its scope. And it has been met with a lot more opposition. People do view it as um, unethical. And, and from a scientific perspective, together with translocation, those are the only two methods that will immediately reduce an overpopulated population. There is nothing else that will immediately reduce the numbers. Um, however, we are working on a new methodology for elephants, that is, and that is immunocontraception. 